o'clock in the morning. You agreed to let me use your flat today, remember? No, I don't remember that. Well, you would have if I'd oh. asked. You're such a nice, good, kind boy. Come you, along, off you go. No. There's a good boy. I switched it yes, early. Come on. Tired. No, come on. Mm. Come along, young man. Hang on, why don't you just ask me if you could use a fire? Wouldn't Look, so problem? busy, dear. I've got so but much to do. It's in the morning, Ambie. I know. I've, I've got to get dressed. I'm not going. You, you can get dressed Whoa. on the way. <laughs> Don't Oops. worry about your little doggy. I'll take good care of it. Yeah. And Barbara, he's not a dog. Yes, yes. <laughs> Have a nice day, dear. And don't hurry home. Bye. Love you, Barney. See you later, Nev. OK, what just happened? Am I having a weird dream? <whistles> nice gym dance cards. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Very fetching, Mr Barney, sir. Uh, Melanie? What are you doing here? It's six o'clock in the morning. I wish I knew. Melody, dear, lovely to see you. Plank late again. Come on, you two, look lively. Hop to, 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 hop to. Right, well, right, well, I'll be off to work then. Right, you lot. Love you, bra bra. <laughs> now, our mission today is to entertain this young lady. Her name is Samantha, and she's a daughter of a dear American friend of mine. And she's going to pay us a visit. She's also a very successful New York fashion designer. <gasps> Ooh, la la. Which is why we're using Barney's flat today. It's much more hip and trendy than mine. You're not wrong there. Now, I want to make a big impression on Samantha this afternoon. That's why I've got rid of Barney. I don't want her to know that he's just a TV presenter. Why? Why, you on the other hand, Melanie, my dear, are such a wonderful girl that I've decided that you can host this delightful event. Oh, no, I've got plans. Oh, you clever girl. I've only just mentioned it and you've already got a plan. You can do the flowers, the music. Oh, and I bought you this lovely dress to wear. Oh, no, but I... <laughs> On to you, little Neville. Now, you just stay your charming little doggy self this afternoon. He's a bear. Woof, woof. <laughs> oh, you're such a good doggy. Treat? Woof. Wait for it, wait for it, and go! Good doggy! Uh, <laughs> and oh, uh, oh, so, sorry, oh, it's... Uh, uh, oh. Which brings me to Mr Plank. Uh, it's, it's Prank. Plank! I uh, couldn't care less, caretaker. I want you to clean this flat from top to bottom and then clear off. When Samantha gets here, I want you out of the building. Better still, the country. Yeah, well, now that that's all sorted. Now, Melanie, dear, you're with it. Tell me, uh, what are smoothies? Oh, yes, Auntie. They're a yummy, fruity drink. Oh, good. Well, apparently Samantha's very fond of them, so I'll get somebody in to make them. Actually, I can... I don't know what. I look on the interweb. But, but I can... You know, now we all know what we're doing, so go, go, go! <laughs> Dearest, are you sure you know what you're doing? Well, of course, Melanie, dear. I've used the interweb many times. Oh, OK. I would like <gasps> someone to make smoothies. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. I think it's broken. Did somebody say smoothies? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
She's at Smoothie Making College. <laughs> yes, very good. Now that you're something of an expert, do you know of someone who could make smoothies for me tonight? Uh, I... Right. <laughs> oh, all right. But don't make a mess of this one plank. You can rely on me. Yes, that's what worries me. Now, Melanie, dear, get everything organised. There's a good girl. And don't forget to wear your lovely new dress. Yes. Aunt. I'm off to get Tracy Philip to design me a new hat. Oh, I almost forgot the most important thing. I've given Samantha Barney's number so she can ring here for directions. So make sure you don't miss the call. Yes, yes sir. Ma'am. Uh, oh, yeah. Plank! Yes. Get cleaning. Clean, cleaning, yes. Right, Bear. I've got to go and clean your disgusting bathroom now. Love you, Mr Angry Pants. But before I go, let me make one thing crystal clear. What? My smoothie bar is not a toy. Yeah, yeah. Stay away from my smoothie bar. Mm. Uh, I'm watching you, Bear. Mm. Now, please. <laughs> Oops. Can't see. <laughs> I knew it! Bear, do not move another inch. Don't. <laughs> do not turn on that blender. No! <laughs> Bear! Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> Bear! Oops. the lights out. <laughs> well, some party. <laughs> we can do. <laughs> yeah. This bar was going to go mad. How can I do a cocktails like this? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <sighs> Leave this to Crazy Keith, Nivy. I'll fix this before Aunt Fabby finds out and you get into trouble. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm going to do now. Good morning, Mr Prank. I'm Professor Bucket from the Australian Institute of Bucket Removal. I was in the area today. Oh, oh that, that, that was lucky then, wasn't it? Yeah, now, are you aware you've got a Type 4 Winston Percival ice bucket stuck on your head? Well, yeah, I had noticed, yes. Ah, well, you're in luck, cos I'm an expert in this type of bucket removal. Close your eyes and stay still. I'm going to try the Van Dinky method of removal. Oh, right, great, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 ow! Anything? Well, I'm starting to get a headache. Yeah, I was afraid of that. This calls for the inverted Pabalabonione method. Right, right. <laughs> and... Oh, 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 
that felt a lot like the Fandinky method. Yeah, well, <coughs> it would do to a non-expert. Time for the Zimbubu Wesselanky method. Uh, do you have any bigger hammers? No, Mr. Prank, team meeting now. Smelly, quick. Ah, hey, well, I'm a busy koala. Man, I'm a busy man. <laughs> Best of luck with it, Mr. Prank. Uh, but, but you haven't got it off yet. Oh, doctors, what do they know? Ow! Have you tried hitting it with a hammer? Yes. All right, don't get snippy with me. It's not my fault, is it, Nev? I'll get you for this bear. Can't scare me. Oh, that's disgusting. Aunt Barbara's going to go ballistic. We'll all end up in trouble if this Samantha thing goes wrong. She's coming back from the hat makers in... No! Now! Hi! Ah! Oh, Aunt Barbara, your hat looks gorgeous. Why, thank you, Melanie, dear. Well, let's have a proper look. Strike a pose. <laughs> oh, yes, you look wonderful. The <gasps> hat looks so good. Bad, you look. The colour looks great on you, and I love the feather. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Now, how's the cleaning going? Brilliant. That's funny. I thought I had my glasses on a second ago. No, don't think so. You don't really need them anyway. No, you're right. I can see perfectly well without them. Melanie, you're looking very skinny. Are you eating properly? Um, aunt, that's a coat stand. Oh. Anyway, all's going well here. Why don't you go upstairs and relax? Until Samantha gets here. That'll be her now. I'll give her all the directions. Everything's going perfectly. Well, if you're sure... The phone! Get the phone! Hi, you're through to Barney and Neff. We're not here right now, but leave a message. Neff, answer it! Hi. No problem, Neff, this is Samantha. Um, Barney yeah. gave me this number to ring you guys for directions, so if you could give me a call back, my number is... We now have a barman with a bucket on his head and a guest who we can't ring back so isn't going to turn up. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We're all in really big trouble. Ideas, anyone? Hmm. <gasps> I know, I know. Bernie! Oh, what a day. I got some funny looks dressed like this, I can tell you. Anyway, I got your message, Nev, so here I am. Why has Mr. Prank got a bucket on his head? More walking, less talking. You need to get changed. Yeah, good point. It'll look a bit stupid, don't it? Oh, you say that now. We're all doomed. <laughs> Bear? Bear, what are you doing? Don't you look lovely? So do you, Aunt. Oh, look at us. We could be sisters. When I saw this dress in both her sizes, I just couldn't resist. Ah, oh, you should have tried. Oh, is everything ready? Yep, we're all set. In fact, Samantha has already arrived. Really? Wonderful! Uh-oh. Yes, Samantha has already arrived. You? Oh, Barbara, how lovely to see you. But you've got so big and your accent is a surprise. Oh, Samantha said earlier she often slips in and out of her American accent. Uh, oh, 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 t totally, Melanie. Yeah, it's so rad to be here. I mean, like, cowabunga. Let me have a good look at you. Such a lovely young lady. Do take a seat. Oh, thank you. 
<laughs> Have you got that picture? Um. <laughs> it's her, all right. So, Samantha, you must tell me everything about yourself. Oh, you have met my niece, Melanie, haven't you? Oh, yes. And I like her dress. I like yours, too. Oh, well, a man manners. I must offer you a drink. OK, then. No, no, no. You stay where you are, dear. Uh, Mr. Plank? Uh, yes? Would you give our guest one of your lovely smoothies? Right, of course. <laughs> no problem. Fruit smoothies coming up. Whoa! Get on with it, man! Right, uh, smoothies. <laughs> First of all, a bit of music. Oh. <laughs> Take the blender. Three glasses. <coughs> uh, and two. <laughs> <laughs> He's a professional, you know. Really? Oh, uh, 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 really? Really? Yeah. Oh, man. Look, put stuff in the blender, not down my trousers. Say that again. Oh, I'm absolutely gasping. Chin chin, bottoms up. Oh no! No! no. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh my! Auntie, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to me, I'll start this. Ducky! Ta da! Oh, good gravy! How did that happen? It must have been something you ate earlier that didn't agree with you. Oh, there's something on the floor. Oh, they're my glasses. Samantha. Yes, I understand. A slight communication breakdown at our end. Yes, 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 I do understand. You've made other plans. Yes, well, I do hope to see you next time you're in town, dear. Bye. Oh, 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 oh my head. 
Oh. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Uh, uh, oh, uh, Miss Barbara, sir. Uh, Mom. It was... Uh, I find... Uh, oh. oh, Nev. Cleaning every inch of the block for Aunt Barbara was exhausting. Mm, too right, bro. Smoothie? Oh, no thanks, mate. I'm really not in the mood for one of your experimental smoothies, thanks. Smoothie! 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 Oh, okay, okay. Just one. Ta. <laughs> mm. Actually, that's really nice. Mm. What's in it? Mm, secret. Yeah? Well, it's delish. Good work. Anyway, night, mate. <laughs> Love you, Barney. Oh. Just a guess, but uh, the secret ingredient wasn't baked beans, was it? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, why don't you try some? There you go. Yeah, have some one, you'll love it. Well, it helps you run faster. Good news, Dixie fans. Shari and Mimi are back on the CBBC website with a brand new story in Dixie 3, Game of Dixie. A gaming griefer is causing problems for the gang and nobody knows who it is. Keep up on all the action by watching vlogs, reading updates and earning achievements. Will the mystery be solved? Check out all the Dixie updates now on the CBBC website.